Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny Delulo here at the South Park Center and I'm delighted to be joined in person with Robin and her fantastic movie Clueless. Let's take a look at the clip. I have something to show you, okay? Fresh wax. Hello Alex, I'd like to meet you. <laughs> <sighs> it's funny, right? We're talking vagina. Oh, is that weird? No, that was normal. I should go. I'm sorry. I, I thought it was funny. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Would you like some fruit? Oh. I could throw that out for you on um. the way out. I play the harmonica, sort of. Uh, Robin, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm so excited and it, honored. It's, well, I mean, goodness me, everyone loved your film last night at our film festival. Uh, for those that haven't seen your film, tell us a brief synopsis. Okay, yes, yeah, so it's called Fruitless, and it's about a lonely 40-something woman who goes to drastic lengths to join the clique of young moms she meets outside her window. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. She tries to seduce a few men. It doesn't work out. It's fruitless. It, <laughs> it is. <laughs> I love it. It is. It is so, um, firstly, I just she's she's brilliant. The, the who plays your your, your lead, your leading oh, that's act. Me. Yeah, I know. I just, I'm just oh, joking. Yeah, yeah. I was just. Yeah, I was like, I was gonna, I was gonna overemphasize <laughs> okay, how great yeah. you were. You're so um, nice, but uh, <laughs> but no, you were really fantastic. Um, but it was. I, I love the the style of the comedy and and, and the the way you delivered everything was 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 so wonderful. Where did the where did the inspiration come for you in this particular story? Yes, so um, I do have two kids of my own, they're teenagers now, but I still find when I pass groups of young moms um, on the street, I feel a little bit of envy, like, wouldn't that be fun to be in that group, you know? Mm -hmm. And there's just such a, like, what, it's an exciting time, um, even though I'm like, really excited that my kids are older <laughs> as well. Uh, so I wanted to, you know, explore that, but also explore just like the complex emotions around motherhood for women, like choosing to be a mom or not be a mom, and all the guilt that's associated with either choice. Mm -hmm. Like, even if you choose to be a mom, you feel like you're not, you're never good enough. Like, mm -hmm. oh, if only I'd been at this baseball game. Or the, and then when you choose not to be a mom, you feel guilty. But it's just, there's no, for I mean, it's just a topic that I don't think has been fully explored in mm -hmm. film um, mm -hmm. in every iteration. And I, I kind of wanted to explore that, but also explore just in groups, um, being in or out, just as an overall concept, using motherhood as like a, uh, template for that. So in this case, it's motherhood, but a lot of people have come up to me after the film and, and just talked about being in, in an out group, like not mm -hmm. being welcome into a group. And they're men and they're people who don't, you know, have the experience of being a mom, but they still have felt left out. So mm -hmm. um, for me, I mean, that's also what I wanted to explore. Well, being a mom is the toughest job in the world. It's <laughs> not this, it never switches off. It's a 24 seven job for the rest of your life, right? So, right. Yeah. you know, and it's amazing how you kind of, you know, brought this story because you've had children, but like going back to obviously when, you know, these moms are just beginning to have kids and there is such a camaraderie group, isn't there? When you're all about, you're all going through this process yeah. together as well. And I love how you had this, you know, kind of like, you know, your character just kind of really just envious of, of, of being there, being there and everything. Um, what I love is the dynamic of, because actually it does exist in my family, but the dynamic of like wanting to have a child, but not necessarily with the partner as well. And then bringing it into this dark comedy style. And it was so many moments that were so brilliant between you and the, the other men. Um, but how, how was, how, did you always kind of know you wanted to take it in this route? Yeah, I wanted to explore a woman who wants to be a mom for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. She's not like super sweet. She's not a wonderful person. She's actually a horrible person. <laughs> And I set up that she's been like kicked out of other friend groups in the past. So I wanted to explore that. Like she wants to be a mom, but not to be like a sweet, caring person, you know, person, mm -hmm. raise a child just to join this group, to mm -hmm. this clique. Um, and so, yeah, I wanted, I just wanted to kind of explore the, just the wrongness of that. Mm -hmm. And I, there's, you know, so often when women are portrayed as mothers, they're ama they're either amazing or they're just horrible. And there's just nothing like in between. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I wanted to do that, and I love uh, improv, and I, the guys, you know, um, I cast, want, you know, I cast them, and then we played around, and we yeah. had fun mm. um, with, w you know, what situations we could kind of get in. Um, so yeah, I mean, I thought just go for the darkness, go for the awkwardness. Mm -hmm. And how, how, I mean, because uh, I mean obviously, you know, you, you created this project, but also you were in this project as well. How was that experience being in front and behind camera and, and that dynamic? That was really hard because I was in like every shot. Of yes. You, yeah, if you saw the film. And 
you know, we only shot it in two days, so we were working in really two days? fast. <gasps> yeah, and I mean, later I was like looking at the footage. I'm like, oh, huh, maybe I wouldn't have done it exactly like no, that, but great, I didn't though. know what it looked like. So it was hard. I mean, I don't know if I would do that again, where I'm on camera every moment. Mm -hmm. um, I just found it hard to hard to accomplish. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad I did it. I mean, I've had some good feedback as a result. And after I wrote it, I was looking at casting different people, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna throw myself in there. Why not? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it was it was hard. I mean, you know, com comedy is, is hard enough as it is anyway, because it really does depend on that. Obviously, how you react to each other. And I thought I thought your dynamic, you know, um, with with the particularly the scenes that were quite intense was so wonderful, kind of together. Um, particularly a, a certain man, I just love the way you interacted with her. It was just hysterical. Um, ha ha again, you love improvisation. How was that? Like, did you kind of impro together? Like, how was that for you? Yeah, we had it. We had it scripted, and then we would just play. So we'd mm -hmm. shoot the scripted version. Um, so the guy who played Bob, he's a you know, but both of the guys were excellent yeah. um, improvisers. His name's Hank Dugan. But we played a lot in that scene um, with Bob, and we had two cameras, you know, one on him and one on me. Luckily, so that if we he said something funny or I could play off of it or whatever, because I think it'd be really hard to achieve with just one camera. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, we had a lot of fun playing around, but still we were moving at a super quick pace. Yeah. So we had to, you know, get through it pretty fast. Well, aside so. from doing it in two days, what was kind of like maybe some of the challenges you had with that? Because it's a lot to squeeze in, isn't there? Yeah, it's. I mean, it was super. It was hot. It was like the hottest day of the year. We had oh, no air conditioning. You know. Yeah, as you know, yeah. So of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, just trying to move quickly, uh, make sure we had what we needed, and sometimes we were pretty much like one shot wonders um, <laughs> with some of the stuff. We're like, that looks good. Good. Okay, we're going. We're you know mm -hmm. we're gonna keep moving through. Um, and I mean, I think when you have a low budget and you're on a tight time frame. You have you have to do that, right? But yeah. like we're filmmakers and we want to see our projects made, so we do it. Just but credit to you, well. Robin. <laughs> yeah, but credit to you. Did it in forty eight hours. I mean, that's that's you know, and you got a great piece of work. And you know, again, I, you know, it, every genre deserves to have an audience, but it was it's so special in comedy because you really need to feel an audience to get those laughs. How how was the experience with a live audience? And oh we gosh. it was. Wonderful to have you with us, honestly. It was so great. I mean, the audience was so generous and kind. They were laughing a lot, and I was like, I love this audience. Can I put them in my pocket and take them home and have them in every screening for every film I ever do? They were so supportive. A um, lot of a lot of women in the audience. Yes. Um, and they a lot came up to me afterwards and said really positive things. It mm -hmm. was really great just having gone through the pandemic and had this had this film screened in several you know, virtual festivals and not having heard it mm -hmm. other than maybe one or two other times in the audience. It was so rewarding. I mean, that's mm. why you do it, is you want to hear how people, you, you do it for other people. You make films so that it can touch people and mm -hmm. reach people. So to have that experience in the audience was incredible last night. And speaking of which, like it was, it, you know, it's a, it's a very, very special program for us where, you know, we have in focus programs every single month, but it's the entire program was all female directors yeah. as well. And there was such wonderful support, not only the filmmakers of each other, but the audience too. How has it been part of this particular program? Because it was so powerful last night. Wow, it was an amazing program. You guys run an incredible festival. I've been in a few festivals and I've never had, I mean, I've been in quite a few festivals actually. And I've never had a festival set up this many meetings, you know, mm -hmm. leading up to the, to the screening. Um, open bar, I mean, it's just like, you, you were so nice to the filmmakers and so supportive. And the audience was incredible. I mean, I d it's been really an honor being a part of this festival, and I would totally recommend it to Aww. everyone, um, all my friends, filmmaker friends. So, yeah. I just love how the so much support last night it was just yeah. so beautiful. Like, I actually literally had to leave like five, ten minutes just so they could just thank each other for their great work. And I think, you know, that's that's great. It's what happens when you you know have women leading the way. You know, it's just saying, just put it out there. Um, but listen, I just want to say, like, you know, that you learn so much from every experience that we have in filmmaking, obviously. Um, is there anything particularly you kind of learned from this project that mostly, or, or, or good and bad? Yeah, I mean, tone is always tricky, and mm -hmm. I went with dark comedy for this. I've done standard, like, just broad comedy before. Mm -hmm. Never tried to infuse the darkness. Yeah, <laughs> um, <and> nothing <laughs> like that. <Yeah. laughs> I learned it was really hard to strike the right tone, because mm -hmm. my film, mid, you know, kind of 
three fourths of the way through turns a little bit dark. Yes. yes. And it, you know, gets but I like that little notch you turned out. That was fun. Yeah. Yes. To watch. And so just trying to figure out how to do that, you know, when to do it, if I still work in comedy and how do I still work in comedy, even during those dark, dark moments. Mm -hmm. um, I think of Alexander Payne's Sideways because mm -hmm. I love that movie. It's so funny. It's still grounded, but so funny. And then it does turn like dark, you know, kind of near the end. And yeah. Um, so yeah, when I was trying to break the mirror, I was trying to like I was thinking this should be funny too, and I did get like a laugh or two last night, and I'm like okay, because uh, the character's having the breakdown and yeah, trying to yeah, break yeah. the mirror in the bathroom. So um, yeah, it was really tough. I mean, I guess my lesson there is be really clear from the beginning what you want to see in every scene and mm. at what point in the movie you're gonna make that twist, make mm -hmm. that turn to the the tonal shift be really clear ahead of time. Um, so I think I was kind of like wading my way through it and we found it in the edit and all of that. But I think if I did it again, I'd be very clear from the beginning to establish tone. Like mm. this is a comedy, but there's, you know, dark moments. I mean, I, I guess I guess I did that a little bit. I think we don't hear that enough, Robin. That's such an, it's such an important thing, particularly in, in the genre style as well that you were, you were creating. But but well on to you, because you, you <laughs> definitely got the right tone for sure oh, in, your, in, in your performance. Um, what is next for you? Um, yes, yeah, so I just finished a, a feature script that's basically a hot tub time machine for women. It's four 40-something women drink a skunk bottle of white Zinfandel, find themselves transported back to their senior year of high school in the 90s, and they have a chance to like alter their futures. Um, so that script, I really love it. it. It touches upon serious issues like the Me Too movement yeah. and trans identity in addition to being funny. Yeah. Um, so I hope to get that out there. And then I have a short film that I'm in pre-production on that stars George Wallace. Um, not sure if you're familiar with yes. him. He's a legendary black comedian. Yes. And my friend wrote it, and then we, we were both like, who should we cast? And we happened to know the manager of George Wallace, so we reached out to him, and he said yes. And we're just floored that he's on board, because he's so funny. Um, so I've been, we've been like, you know, reworking it a little to fit him, but we just have to raise the second half of our budget, and then we'll... We'll put out there to this cameras, okay? Yeah. Anyone that's got blank checks, we'll, we'll, we'll just distribute right. it to Robin, okay? Um, Robin, both these projects sound fantastic. Like, I'm not joking. They, I'm, I'm in them both. So congratulations and on, on the feature as well. And, and, and can't wait to see uh, the, the, the short with uh, George Wallace as well. And, and um, thank you so much for bringing Fruitless as well. I really appreciate you. Thank you so thank much you. for having me. This has been amazing. I thank really you. appreciate it.